Growing up in London in the 1950s was predictable and dull. My generation demanded a new beginning. I wanted to be an actor from the age of 10, but people with my background hardly ever became actors. All I wanted was to get a true Cockney character on the big screen, and I got the chance to do it. The old rule book was being torn up and thrown away. Everything was dull and grey, you know, and we wanted colour. The permissive society is considered by some youngsters to be trendy and winning. People try to put us It was the first time the future was shaped by young people. Just because we get around. They've got all these rules of how to live, and it's just not true anymore. You didn't hear models no. speak, but then you did. And they've never shut me up. <laughs> we must rid the country of don't care. Police raided Keith Richards' house. Generation, baby. This isn't the first generation that's questioned the moral values of the last generation. It was our time. The best time of our lives. What was it all about? I'm going to show you. I wasn't always Michael Caine. I was born Morris Joseph Micklewhite. My mother was a char lady, cleaner, and my father was a Billingsgate fish market porter. I was expected to follow in his footsteps, but I hated the smell of fish. Morris Micklewhite, are you? Yes, I am. No. Oh, my God, aren't you like your father? Because I, I didn't think anybody would be left down here. Uh, your mother and I were very good friends. Yes, you were. And indeed. your dear old father. Yeah. The times we used to pick up old Mrs. Fault. <laughs> yeah, after... <laughs> you remember anyway, those yeah, times, remember. don't you, boy? As an English child grows, he becomes aware he has already been assigned a place in a large game, a system as intricate and elaborate as a maze, a maze of tradition, outmoded rules about who should succeed, in the eyes of the establishment. Discipline is indispensable to a progressive and mature society. Given discipline in the home and school, in college and at the work bin, the foundations for happiness are well established.